more in regards to even the use of, uh, say, condoms. Um, some people have, have spoken to Christians, and, you know, they feel convicted that even the use of, of condoms is, is wrong. And uh, to me, in my assessment of things, and between me and God, I've felt that it isn't. With my wife and I, that's currently our, our method of contraception that we've decided to go with for the, for the time being. And I guess the, the sort of the logical rationality struggle that I have going on in my mind with that, with trying to understand their take on how uh, condoms could be wrong, but yet going and using the healthcare system would be okay. Like, if you're, n- if you're not preventing, like you say, uterine implantation, so you're not actually killing a fertilized egg, you're preventing that from happening. Um, do, you, do you sort of get where I'm going? Yeah, with I, yeah, this, I do, and I think you're making a worthwhile distinction. Uh, and I think you said the operative uh, uh, words or, or, or the operative phrase when you said, between me and my wife, before the Lord. Right. Uh, you're considering this prayerfully before the Lord. Now, I happen to disagree with you. But as I've said on the Bible Answer Man broadcast, I'm not dogmatic in my disagreement. In other words, I may very well be wrong. But my sense is, and, and, and again, I say this with fear and trembling, uh, be, be, because I, I don't feel that I have the basis on which I can be absolute dogmatic about this. But my, my sense about this whole thing is that, that, that life and death uh, are the prerogative of God alone, and they're special categories. And, and therefore, uh, I, I feel like a lot of people are trying to prevent conception that may not be able to conceive in the first place. Um, I, I think it's a unique category, but that's my personal belief, um, it's an inference, a, a theological deduction that I make from Scripture, uh, but I, I, I think that you can make your case as validly as I can make my case. I feel strongly about right. it. That's probably why I have 12 kids, although three of them are adopted. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, I, I feel obviously very strongly about my, uh, uh, my opinion in this regard. I was at Focus on the Family a week or so ago and uh, did a show with, with Focus on the Family, and while I was there, I met some incredible staff people uh, on, on the Focus staff, and one of them had uh, seven daughters, and uh, they had come to that same conclusion as well. So I guess uh, when you come to that conclusion, uh, one of the consequences is you have a, a large family. But, but look, I'll tell you, the, the thing that we were talking about when we were discussing the size of our, our, our families is that in my case, if I hadn't listened to my wife, I'd probably have a small family. But now I'm 59 years old, I have a large family, and it's the greatest time of my life because I am enjoying things with my family that, uh, you know, I'd be missing out on otherwise. 